Hi everybody, my name is Claudia Rivera. I'm going to present this work uh, where we synthesize nanocomposites. Um, we use a magnetite and yttrium oxide doped with europium. We use the hydrothermal method and this work was uh, developed in Centro Universitario de los Valles in Ameco, Jalisco, Mexico and we are from the uh, Universidad de Guadalajara. Well, the purpose of this work is to combine the magnetic properties of magnetite and the photoluminescent properties of yttrium oxide top with europium. It is known that when the magnetite has particle sizes smaller than 20 nanometers, it presents a superparamagnetic behavior. It is to say that in addition to being attracted by a magnet, it can generate heat when it is placed inside high frequency alternating magnetic fields. On the other hand, the photoluminescent material, also called as phosphor, uh, could emit light uh, of a certain color depending on the dopant. In this case, we use European because we want to we wanted to obtain this red color. And also the intensity of this light emission could depend on uh, the dopant concentration and other characteristics from the nanoparticle. So combining these properties, we could uh, generate a theranostic agent. That means that uh, with this material, uh, we could use, um, it could be used as a um, biomarker for cancer cells. And also inside the cancer cells, we can do hyperthermia. Uh, this is the uh, therapy with heat uh, applying magnetic fields. For the synthesis of nanocomposites, we first uh, synthesized magnetite. Uh, this was using the precipitation method. And then we um, used the hydrothermal method to obtain the nanocomposites. We fixed the composition of magnetite in 10% and we only modified the quantity of europium in yttrium oxide. We use 5, 8, and 10% of europium in this phosphor. In this step, we obtain a core shell structure like this, but uh, we need to apply calcination because we wanted to improve the luminescent characteristic of this material. With the X-ray patterns, we found uh, the characteristic peaks of magnetite and yttrium oxide, and also we found a shift in this peak, and that means that uh, European is inside of the crystal structure of yttrium oxide. We observe that the magnetic saturation improves with the addition of europium, while the emission intensity does not. However, this is important because on many occasions, the thickness of the vitreon layer is increased or decreased to improve magnetism. In a previous work, we have reported that changing the concentration of the components modifies the morphology of the particles. So by arranging the activator concentration is a good method to achieve the highest magnetic saturation and a good luminescent intensity. In conclusion, by varying the amount of dopant, it is possible to improve the magnetic properties that I traditionally achieve by changing the radius of the components. 